running group demonstrations is always very, very difficult, typically because you've got multiple stakeholders in the room. And in an ideal world, we'd like to sit down with those individually to learn about their challenges or their objectives or their goals, and then match the product to them specifically. But you don't get the time or the luxury to do that when you're doing a group demonstration. So in this video, we're gonna go for a few tips on how we can run group demonstrations to maximize the value for those stakeholders. The best place to start is with the agenda. When we're setting the agenda, typically we'd say, look, we wanna learn about your organization to show you how we can help you with your goals or challenges, or whatever your typical kind of discovery positioning for your agenda is. Now that changes slightly. So I'd recommend using the following phraseology to make sure that you're maximizing those opportunities with those stakeholders. So it would look a little something like this. Guys, typically what I'd like to do is to ask you a series of questions to understand what you're trying to achieve and your expectations for the call so we can demonstrate value in the demonstration. But as we've got so many of you in the room, we're not gonna have the capability of doing that. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to ask you all individually to contribute one thing that would demonstrate value today for us to then meet offline and talk about that objective or challenge. So when you get to the stage where you're trying to learn about their business, be it a discovery stage or a questioning stage, so you're understanding what's gonna dictate the things that you show them within your product, it's now time to actually speak to each of those stakeholders individually. And again, set the scene something like this. So guys, great, now what I wanna do is I wanna go around the room individually and I wanna find something out. If there's one thing you could see today that would demonstrate value in your role, that would earn the right for us to have a further conversation offline, what exactly would that be? Let's start with you, Jennifer. And again, what we're doing here is, we're not trying to sell anyone anything at this stage, because there could be a chance where all of these people in the room are in some way involved in the decision. And if we don't make sure that all of their needs are satisfied, then we're putting ourselves in a position where we can't truly demonstrate value. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to show enough value to earn the right to have another conversation with them, to learn about what it is they're trying to achieve. And this might mean that we actually show them another demonstration on exactly how it's gonna help them individually. So in summary, don't try to sell your product in a group demonstration. Obviously you should be matching the product to the customer's needs and delivering value. But ultimately your objective is to show enough value to each of those individual stakeholders to go and have a further conversation where you can run a more deeper discovery to understand what it is they're trying to achieve. I hope this video has been useful. I get this question a lot around group demonstrations because people are desperate to do a decent discovery. But remember, just slow it down a little bit. Show value and go back and build that discovery. As always guys, remember to subscribe, remember to share, remember to like. It really helps the channel grow, meaning I can make more content like this. I hope this has been useful and as always, happy selling.